Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am renovating a EA house from the new expansion pack Island Living. The house I am renovating is called Journey's End, which you can find on the left side of the map. And uh, the couple who lives here is Mele and Alika. And they both are adults and also one of the founders, I believe, of Sulani. So they have a pretty high status and their personality traits also reflect that. Mele is a snob and Alika is... I never going to be able to say it correctly, but materialistic. And uh, in the description of the household, they plan to live in this house their whole life. So I wonder if that's why the house is called Journey's End. I'm not sure. But anyways, the house before the renovation was around 70,000 simoleons. And the renovated version about 182,000 simoleons. And uh, the lot is 40 by 30, so it ended up being a little bit expensive. But one of the reasons is perhaps because in the original build there were two bedrooms, which I'm not exactly sure was supposed to be guest bedrooms or kids' bedrooms. However, I made them in the kids' bedrooms where I imagined there to be two girls. As for the renovation, I didn't want to change up the house too much, especially the shape of the house and also the floor plan. And that is because it's easier to see the changes that way. And also it's kind of realistic when you renovate a real house as well. What I did change a lot, however, is the second floor. Since I changed the placement of the stairs, I also had to change the placement of the bedrooms. Otherwise the house and uh, interior is just more decorated and cluttered than before. And I also have to mention that I only used base game and island living in this build, so more people are able to download this house. And I am pretty sure these were the only two packs I used. However, if it says I used more than those two packs, it's probably just a decorating item or a wallpaper. The point is that the house is functional with base game and island living. So I really enjoyed renovating this house. Most of the EA houses, I just completely bulldoze without even considering cha changing it up. But I found this house really interesting and it also had a really good floor plan, so I decided to give it a try. What I have noticed with EA houses is that the placement of the windows is so strange. It's either in a weird height or placement and sometimes both. So I do wonder, does the people who build the EA houses start with the placement of the rooms? Or do they start with the exterior of the house? Because I do think they place the windows after the rooms instead of the build, if that makes sense. But uh, I guess that's a personal preference as well. Because some people build the rooms and floor plans first and other people build the exterior first. I feel like I am a little bit in between and that is because when I want to use a house in my gameplay, I like to find out how the floor plan is first so that the gameplay will go smoothly. However, when I just want to build, I usually start with the exterior. But uh, what do you guys do? So one thing that I want to mention, especially to those who is considering buying the island living, is that the gameplay in this pack is not so exciting as I thought it would be. The pack is great, don't get me wrong, but so far I've only played in Zulani a couple of times and I don't know, it's not as exciting as I thought it would be. Then again, I'm not a big gameplay kind of girl, I'm more of a builder, but from earlier packs I have always enjoyed the new additions to the game. And I also seen 
some more simmers uh, mentioning this. So I'm going to say the same as them. If you're unsure if you should buy the pack, just consider that the pack lacks some gameplay, but has some beautiful uh, build items. Speaking of build items, here I am decorating the backyard and just adding some seating places and a dining table. And I also believe I put some toys on this deck as well, so the kids have something to do uh, outside. And as we saw earlier, I also added a swing set and also some pots so the sims can grow fruits or veg vegetables as well if they want to. Perhaps the new coconut tree. And I also added a barbecue as you can see. And some sunbeds and yeah if you want to download this build you can find it under my origin id x rain with x and earlier i had mentioned that the gallery says my builds have cc and i think i have found the reason why in my game i only use uh, create a sim c create a sim cc but for some reason, when I enable the create a sim custom content, it also says my build has it. So whenever I remove the custom content from my game, it's all good. So I find the gallery uh, really strange. But I'm glad I found the problem and that I'm able to upload my builds without it being shown as CC. And uh, if you want to see my builds on other platforms, I'm also uploading pictures on Pinterest and Tumblr. I am also considering making a Twitter account just so I can be updated with Sims news and also because my favorite Sims YouTubers has, twi has Twitter as well. However, I'm not used to this app yet, so we will see how it goes see we are now furnishing the inside of the house and we're going for a dark brown blue and green color scheme which I'm not really a fan of but for this build and seeing the results I actually really like it and the floor plan as well I really like because it's kind of old it's kind of open plan but not really and the kitchen I love it's so spacious spacious but i was kind of struggling with the cabinets as you will see soon uh, so i decided to leave it how it is and just put some shelving in the corner and the living room i also really really like it's not really spacious but uh, it's enough space and you have everything you need and I decided to use these cabinets to make like a, a TV table. And I was kind of struggling as well to find out what I wanted it to look like on the wall. Uh, I think I decided to just put some lights. Uh, yeah, and a picture. And soon we are off to the kitchen. And I also uh, decided to remove the bathroom, which was here originally, but I did have a door for the outside right here. So I decided to just put the stairs here and also put some chairs and such under the stairs. And I figured it made sense to have the door uh, besides the kitchen, other than having it in um, in the toilet or the bathroom, I mean. So here I'm just thinking about the uh, shelves or the cabinets, but it didn't work out. So I just put the shelves in the corner, as I said. And I also decided, since we don't have um, the island counters, I decided to just go with these uh, base game counters in white. And I actually quite like it. And we're also going to change up the 
wallpapers um, just to make it a little bit more exciting and colorful and here I'm just cluttering up the counters nothing much just a little bit to make it a little bit more homely and next to this fridge I am going to put a door into the downstairs bathroom uh, the only bathrooms in this house I believe is the downstairs and also the ensuite on the second floor and here I'm just decorating under the stairs and I think I'm starting with the dining area and I think this space is so cozy and I just really like it the dining space that was here before was just white and very boring and also kind of dark I did put a lot of lighting in this house because the original build was pretty dark and uh, yeah here I'm just changing up the wallpapers and uh, decorating the bathroom I don't think I show uh, me decorating the other bathroom just because it's not that interesting um, and I think we're about to go upstairs so I did include me doing the floor plan and I also showed me deleting the original placement of the furniture with, which was in the original build and you will see that I did change it quite a bit and um, I also wanted the children's room to be quite uh, decorated as well because in the original build there was just a bed and then just a a uh, oh what's it called a dresser of course and maybe I did make two bathrooms upstairs yeah I think I did and as you can see the bedrooms for the kids are kind of small for the size of the second floor uh, but um, it was kind of difficult to make the floor plan uh, out of the new placement of the stairs but I think it kind of works out the uh, master bedroom originally was huge so it kind of made sense anyways and um, this bedroom is going to be quite red and white and the master bedroom has also a very nice uh, patio is that what it what it's called I think so and yeah so I really enjoyed building this house or renovating this house and as I said you can find this build on the gallery under my origin ID X Rain with X and please leave a like and subscribe if you like this build and I think I'm just going to add some music and the build will be done soon and I hope you also enjoy the before and after photos I tried making them as uh, similar as possible uh, considering the the um, positioning of the camera so have a nice day and I will see you again soon bye here we go here we go again trying hard but you want to be my friend Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to Here we go, here we go again Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to
I can't.